The Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region in northern China is home to about one fifth of the country's grasslands. The vegetation here, however, was once threatened by desertification and degradation. Thanks to years of ecological preservation efforts, the grasslands have regained considerable vitality, and technology has played a role in that. This is Chilechuan Grassland of Inner Mongolia, one of the first piloting national grassland nature parks in China. I'm joined by Mandela Elom Edra from Ghana, who is an expert in agronomy. Hello, hello, Yu Tian. So today we're going to explore how technologies contribute to grassland protection and restoration in the region. Great, let's go. Mandela, you may not know, over a decade ago, this area used to be a barren land of sand and gravel. I visited this place a couple of times. The first time I visited, and it looked green. But this year looks much greener and even better. It's so beautiful. Now we'll visit a local ecological company that has been dedicated to restoring the grassland for years. Okay. Liu Ziyang has been working in seed breeding for 15 years. In 2012, a comprehensive restoration project was launched at Chilechuan Grassland, and Liu was a member of the project. What used to be a barren land of sand and gravel in the 1990s is now a lush, expensive prairie. In January 2014, Chinese President Xi Jinping visited Liu's company during an inspection tour to the region. Well, I think the seed breeding technologies employed here, um, they are cutting edge ones, contributing to the successful adaptation to the local environment and creating such a harmonious biodiversity. Yeah, technologies do improve the efficiency of grassland restoration. Now let's head to a place to see more technology supplied in grassland protection, which is about 500 kilometers away. Mao Wusu, the size of the Netherlands, is one of China's major deserts. But the reality is, the desert is about to fade away. Mandela, here we are inside the Mausu Desert in Ordos. Oh, so this is the desert? Yes, quite significant changes have occurred in this area in recent years. We're heading to a research center nearby. Let's see what we can find out there. Okay. Zhao Zhichang's company specializes in technology to restore the ecosystem in Mausu Desert. This is a Tang 主要通过禁牧、修牧政策、保护草原。同时呢，我们通过科技赋能，探索利用免耕技术修复和改善草原，增加草原上的植物的多样性。Using technology, local herdsman Hasbagana has turned 150 mu of wasteland into a pasture, which provides fodder grass to his sheep and cattle. 我就安装一些土壤建设设备
产量很大的变化。眉毛就是空了是二十二孔，之前是眉毛是十六孔。The restoration and afforestation, particularly alongside the technology, have effectively curbed the expansion of the Maosu Desert. Mandela, what do you think of the changes in Maosu Desert? Amazing! I'm quite interested in the scientific and technology that you're using over here. To transform this desert in such a beautiful ecosystem, and also how they've been able to improve the livelihood of the local people here. Indeed, our next destination is a former coal mine. Let's see what we can find there. Look over there. There are lots of solar panels around, and the plants here are so green. It's quite amazing. Well, I can't believe. This is a former coal mine. 之前呢，就是一些采煤呈现区，土地比较荒漠，内蒙的光照非常丰富。通过科技的应用，我们很好的能够推进这个生态的治理和修复。Construction of the solar power station kicked off in 2020. It began operation the following year. The area, which has produced 175 million tons of coal. Now boasts an annual solar power generation capacity of 900 million kilowatt hours. 局长您好。种的这个优良牧草，不仅生畜可以吃，人也能吃。它这个叫苜蓿草，它能够防沙固沙，还能起到一个培养土壤的一个作用。把我们。矿区闲置的土地有效的利用起来，把我们老百姓的收入增加了，生态环境修复好了。总书记提出要把内蒙古界成我国北方重要的生态安全屏障，我认为就是要求我们加大生态系统保护力度，促进经济高质量发展，实现生态效益、经济效益、社会效益最大化。I think it's um, quite a remarkable success that they've achieved over here. You can see that um, they are using the adaptative measures to be able to um, produce plants that are able to adapt to the environment quite well. I think their efforts have really paid off. President Xi Jinping plays a leading role in grassland protection and restoration. His thoughts on ecological civilization, which advocates for balancing economic growth with environmental protection, has been instrumental in shaping China's approach to environmental policies, including grassland protection and restoration, which is very forward-looking.